Still think Tesla is just an AV company? Here comes Grok. Welcome to my channel, Rudy Romo here. In this video, I will explain what Grok is to the best of my knowledge and the multiple features that sets Grok apart from other large language models and how those features could be yet another windfall for XAI and Tesla. On XAI's website, Grok is described as a humorous AI modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the seminal 1970s radio drama and satirical sci-fi book series by UK author Douglas Adams. It was adapted into a major movie in 2005. The current Grok version is beta and it will eventually be available to all XAP Premium subscribers. Grok is a large language model. It's called Grok, named after the slang term that means understanding, and is built to compete with other leaders in the space, such as OpenAI's GPT and Anthropic's Claw 2. As Elon says on this X post, if AI will eventually take over the world, Let's make sure it makes us laugh in the process. To show you Grok's wit, here's the answer it gave when asked about the American Constitution. You can pause it if you like to read it. Grok has created a buzz in the mainstream media and especially among Tesla owners and XAP users. Here's a post from Chuck Cook asking Elon about the Grok plans for EV owners and the possible timing for implementation. The XAI team is said to have made significant improvements in reasoning and coding capabilities enough to create a new model Grok 1, which is a Frontier LLM, powering the Grok chatbot client, similar to how OpenAI's GPT model powers its ChatGPT consumer-facing experience. XAI also posted a chart showing Grok's performance in four categories of machine learning, benchmarks, and tasks, including middle school math, multiple choice questions, Python code completion, and math problems written in LaTeX. Here are at least 10 key features that set Grok apart from other large language models. Number one, Grok will answer all questions. Grok is trained on a massive data set of text, code, and video, which allows it to answer a wide range of questions, including challenging and strange questions. Number two, Grok will have a wit, humor, sarcasm switch that can be turned on or off. Grok can be configured to generate different creative text formats, including jokes, humorous stories, and anecdotes. Users can also choose to turn on or off Grok's sense of humor. Number three, it will be 100% up to date with text and video information. Grok has real-time access to the XAP data, which allows it to provide users with the most up-to-date information possible. Number four, it will be trained to use only factual data as much as possible. Grok is trained to be as objective and factual as possible. However, it is important to note that Grok is still under development and it may sometimes make mistakes. Number five, Grok will be the only LLM with 100% access to the XAP, which I call the X-Files. Grok has exclusive access to all of the data on the XAP, which gives it a significant advantage over other LLMs. Number six, Grok can be trained using Tesla's real-world data collected by its large fleet of EVs. Grok can be trained on Tesla's real-world data, such as driving data and sensor data. This allows Grok to learn about the real world and to generate more accurate and informative responses. Number seven, plan is to incorporate Grok into the computer controlling the EV full self-driving software. Grok is planned to be integrated into the computer controlling Tesla's FSD software. I see a future where Tesla drivers can converse with Grok and the FSD using voice-activated software. Number eight, Grok could also be loaded into Optimus computer brain. Grok could also be loaded into the computer brain of Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus, and it would give Optimus the ability to understand and respond to the world in a more human-like way. Number nine, Grok will have access to the Dojo supercomputer in its 100 exaflop future capacity. Number 10, Inference. Here are some specific examples of how Tesla and Tesla EV owners could make money using Grok Inference. Tesla could sell Grok Inference services to businesses. For example, Tesla could sell Grok Inference services to businesses that want to target Tesla owners with advertising 
or that want to get insights into Tesla owners' driving habits and interests. Tesla could also use Grok Inference to improve its products and services. For example, Tesla could use Grok Inference to improve its navigation app or to develop new features for its full self-driving software. Tesla EV owners could use Grok Inference to generate their own income. For example, Tesla EV owners could use Grok Inference to develop new apps or services that they could sell to other Tesla EV owners. Overall, Grok Inference has the potential to be a valuable tool for Tesla and Tesla EV owners. It can be used to generate revenue, improve products and services, and develop new business opportunities. It is important to note that Grok Inference is still under development, so it's not clear how it will be used in practice or how much money Tesla and Tesla EV owners will be able to make using it. However, the potential benefits are significant, and I am excited to see how Grok Inference is used in the coming years. Grok is a next-generation, large-language model that has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers. It is more comprehensive, informative, accurate, engaging, and enjoyable to use than other large language models. Grok has the potential to be used in a wide range of applications, including search, education, customer service, and entertainment. I am excited to see how Grok is used to develop new and innovative products and services. I believe that Grok has the potential to make a positive impact on the world and I am looking forward to seeing how it is used in the coming years. In my opinion, Grok will be another key feature that will give Tesla's EVs and Optimus huge advantage over the competition and will catapult Tesla to the largest market cap known to mankind. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe so that YouTube algorithms will get it to more people. If you disagree with any other points made or if you have any suggestions on how to improve future videos, please comment below. The material and thoughts shared here are based on my own personal research and factual to the best of my knowledge. Please do your own research.